We're going to talk about um, big electric breakers. Um, this isn't actually a, a, a very big one, it's a very nice one. This particular one is DeWalt and it's 1250 watts and it's uh, available for hire um, from any number of places. So obviously we're down here at uh, higher standards in Westbury. But, um, these are particularly good if you're if you're breaking up an old concrete path or something along those lines. They're considerably easier than a sledgehammer. Um, and the thing that people tend to forget with these, that you know, like Matt was saying to me earlier on, um, that a lot of people bring these back and say they're no good. They won't go through their path. And what they're trying to do is attack a huge area of concrete from the middle outwards. And of course they don't work like that. These aren't um, as strong as some of the big compressor breakers or even some of the much bigger electric breakers. Um, but they will certainly do the job. But you need to start at the edge and work around and work your way in. They won't, they won't take out enormous lumps of concrete for you. And neither should the blade be used as a lever to get the concrete out when you've broken it. You should get a special, well not necessarily a special bar for that, but, but use a bar for, for levering that out of the way. The more, um, the more pressure you put on this piece of equipment that isn't on a vertical plane, um, the more chance you've got of damaging it. But um, this is 110 volt, as, as most of the kit in, in higher shops is, because the larger part of their customer base are um, tradesmen. But that doesn't necessarily mean you can't use them. In fact, it's a great idea if you're doing a lot of work outside to use 110 volt stuff. You just need the transformer, which of course the higher centre will give you as well. Um, and that reduces your risk. So this particular breaker, as I've said, it's 1250 watts. It's for breaking up concrete paths. We would say to probably about three, possibly four inches thick. Um, but again, starting from the edge, it's a lot easier than a hammer. It comes with a, a range of tools. Um, it's an SDS, um, which you'll see in a separate video, it tells you about SDS. Um, and the bits simply click into place in a really solid way. To release them, you pull the collar down and that comes out. So that's a point, a chisel point. Um, and this is a flat chisel. And again, simply slots into the drill itself. So you can hear that locking into place. We'll use those in a moment. But just a second to talk about one of the things that we get asked about a great deal. And that's getting really solid um, flooring up and this is a flooring chisel and also a plastering chisel for taking plaster or render off a wall and you can see it's a piece of sheet steel very very solid simply goes into the the drill breaker um, in the same way as the chisels that you've just seen and we can use that for for getting plaster off a wall render off a wall flooring off a floor, of a concrete floor that is, not a timber floor, please don't try and dig it into a timber floor. Um, but that's a handy tool, that will save any amount of time and I think I've said this in a couple of videos that, that home improvers, DIYers, obviously we, we do this sort of stuff to save money when we're DIY and we want to save money. But there's a balance between saving money and being counterproductive and if you're going to spend three or four weeks chopping the render off of your house when by using one of these for 15 or 20 quid um, you can do it possibly in a day or maybe a couple of days so it'd be 40 quid or whatever you've actually saved yourself a fortune by spending a couple of bob on on tools like this they are designed to to help and as we've said so often on diy doctor there is a tool for every single job you want to do in the building industry uh, we all know that chisels are made to take the lids off tins of paint um, but of course there are tools for every job you want to do and, and this is an example of something that you might not know about it does exist and you can hide them so let's have a look at the breaker in action now I'm, I'm not going to go outside and start chopping up concrete cars and things this is a demonstration video so we're going to slot the point in I'll turn it over um, we're all connected up to the mains and as you can see I'm pretty close to the edge there and I'm just going to Just going to break down that. This is really, this is a concrete paving slab, and that is really finely chopped concrete. 
It comes away quite easily because it's on the edge. If that were in the middle of a big path, it would struggle to break that off. If I want to cut away to form an expansion joint or continuation of concrete or something, I can pull that out. I can replace that with a flat chisel. Make sure that's locked in place. And I can use the flat chisel to cut a reasonably straight line. I mean, sometimes that doesn't work. If there's too much vibration, it will break somewhere else. But if you're careful, you can quite, quite often trim things up in a fairly neat way, as you can see. So that's an electric breaker. This particular one is from DeWalt. Um, variable speeds on the side allow more or less power to get to the uh, to get to the chisel. Very very handy tool to use in the garden if you're doing any. Demolition work out there.